All right, this morning we're going to do a brief introduction on updating statistics part one and each of these videos is I'm going to keep uh, fairly short and uh, the main reason is uh, to create a kind of continuous uh, series here. So one of the, the big pieces of understanding what's happening behind the scenes is um, the way that I learn is, is not just through uh, examples and, and visually seeing but also unrelated examples or analogies and no analogy is perfect so we're going to use uh, kind of a scenario here that gives you kind of an idea overall of of how our brains think and assumptions that we make and thinking about it in the context of SQL Server has to make assumptions based on what we have. So first of all let's think about a SQL Server analogy. Suppose that we have a table. Uh, no indexes on the table. It's just a, a straightforward table and it has a million records in it. However, the last time the statistics were updated it only had 500,000 records in it. So in our scenario, SQL Server thinks that the table has 500,000 records when it has a million. Now here's a question, and it'll become more clear as the series continues. What do you think will be the behavior of SQL Server, SQL Server's optimizer? What do you think will be the behavior of SQL Server with a table that has more records than it thinks, double the records that it thinks? Now let's look at that in a different analogy. Let's think about, let's suppose that we're all new students of English, okay? And we know what the word object means. Object is basically a thing, right? But we don't know what thing means and we don't know what entity means. We just know what object means, okay? And let's suppose that we're taking an open book test where we can use a dictionary and a thesaurus. And on our test it says, you know, here's a list of words that you cannot use. You need to write let's say an essay, but you cannot use these words. And one of those words we cannot use is object. That's, what's, that's what we remember, right? That's what we know in English, okay? So the problem is, is we know the word object, right? But we need to identify another word like thing or entity for this test. So here's a question. What are we going to do on the test? if we can't use the word object, even though that's the word that we know and we remember. Okay? That's part one of that question. Second of all, if there was no restriction at all, let's suppose that we could use object, what do you think would be faster? Do you think, let's suppose that using the word object was perfectly fine, do you think that using something that we remember is going to be faster than something that we would have to go look up? Right? In other words, if I have to go through uh, a thesaurus and look up the synonyms for object and I see, oh, thing, that's another uh, synonym for that. Do you think that looking that up will be faster than just going with what I remember? Okay. So in part one, just think about that and then think about the SQL scenarios, server scenario where you have a table with a million records or whatever. It can be X number of records, but based on the last updated statistic time, there's a completely different number of records. And how do you think that's going to affect the behavior of SQL Server.